how to build your dream life in very simple steps that don't cost a lot of money or are completely free. First of all, meditate, practice gratitude, say all of the things that you're grateful for. If you live in a climate where there's no pollution and it's not giving you cancer, you can be grateful for that. Um, you can be grateful for the roof over your head. You can be grateful for your bed. You can be grateful for food. You can be grateful even if you don't have a good relationship with your parents that they raised you well enough that you're alive and you're here as an adult and you know how to survive. Um, you can be grateful for pets if you have them. And then another tip would be to practice self-affirmations. Affirm what you're working towards, whether it's fitness, financial, or spiritual, whatever your goals are, affirm and say that you're going there. Take actions towards those affirmations and schedule them into your calendar if you need to work out or you need to work on a business or you need to spend time with your pet in order to recharge and rejuvenate. Next, I'm going to talk about singing. Singing opens up your voice. So as we grow up, we're always caretaking people who are authority figures when we are children because we are dependent. And if we're not careful as adults, we kind of get trapped in these entrenched patterns of constantly following authority figures and never speaking our own truth. So when we sing, that opens up our voice and that allows some of our truth to start emerging. We're getting our voice back and so that's very important. Even if you think you're a bad singer, just practice singing in the shower and enjoy it. And on that note, Showering, yes, that's a great way to kind of build happiness into your life. Have hot showers and even have cold showers that are refreshing on a hot day. Both are good in different ways and you can kind of Google and find out which is better for what. Exercise, going out for hikes in nature, going for a walk in your neighborhood. These are free ways to get out of the house and get you in a different neighborhood in your mind. And on that note, explore new neighborhoods, go to different cities and towns if you can afford to and check out what's there and see if there's new shops or new um, parks or new uh, places to visit, you know. Even cities build new parks from time to time when you're visiting a young city and they've got a new beautiful place that they've just built into the city. Um, also, buy fresh flowers, or if you can't afford them, just go to the grocery store and smell them and enjoy them, or go to your flower shop locally. Paint a picture, draw, um, explore an art class. I saw somebody on TikTok recently pull a lot of different categories out of a hat, and then they had to paint these three different things and put them all into a painting all at the same time, which I thought was sort of cool. Also writing, um, it doesn't have to be serious journaling or downloading emotions, it can be just creative writing and storytelling. I used to love doing that as a kid. And reading books is also great. Serious topics for learning and also fiction to activate your imagination and take you to a new neighborhood in your mind. Travel if you can afford it. Go to another country and enjoy the culture, enjoy the scenery, and if you can, learn another language. You don't even have to travel to learn a new language, but that will definitely take you to a new neighborhood in your mind. And I have done that periodically throughout my life, learned little bits of Japanese, Chinese, French, not that I'm fluent in anything, but it takes me into a different neighborhood in my mind, and I really enjoy the process of learning new things. What else? You can also do yoga, exercise, and try new activities that are really engaging. If you don't really like going to the gym, I understand. Try a sport that you really enjoy that gets you really excited and engaged first, and then maybe you'll appreciate more going to the gym because it will help you get strong for that sport. And also practice healthy sleeping habits. Try to turn off all your devices an hour before you go to bed and don't look at screens. Um, don't eat too much food in the evening so your stomach's not gurgling when you're trying to go to sleep. And just try to settle and wind down early enough in the evening so that you are getting a good night's sleep and you don't feel tired and addicted to coffee the next morning. Although I do enjoy a good cup of coffee and that's another thing that may make you happy. 
drink lots of water, stay hydrated. As much as I enjoy a coffee, it does make you dehydrated, so you need to balance with water and find ways to enjoy the water. Add a little lemon to it. Drink it cold if you like it cold, or if you're somebody who prefers it warm, drink it warm. Um, then also you want to spend time with your pets. Your pets are great for helping you reduce stress and feeling loved and connected. And they're never going to judge you. You never have to, I guess you could have a narcissistic pet, maybe cats might be, but like they still love you even, even so. So take advantage of that and enjoy your pets. So these are all beautiful ways you can have an amazing, glorious life that don't cost a lot of money, but they really do add and enhance your life. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. This list was by no means exhaustive. There are many more tips to help you with your life and have a good life. And I look forward to sharing them with you in the future.